Yeah, hello scrappers. Today I thought I would go ahead and tackle this uh, CRT monitor. So the first thing we want to do cut the end off our plug here. I really need to get me a new camera one of these days so I can see what you guys are seeing. But uh, some of these plugs here have gold plated pins so if you do micro scrapping and you want to later try to do gold recovery then it's well worth it to go ahead and save these plugs. here. Okay, now I need the Phillips. I got several Phillips screws here. Got a couple. I said about a month ago I was going to try to get to this <laughs> that week. Here it is a month later. And finally, finally doing it. Okay, we got a lot of plastic. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is recyclable or not. They need to kind of regulate the plastics industry and try to get it down to where they have just basically one or two styles of plastic and then that are recyclable and that would that would probably keep a lot of plastic out of the landfills and oceans and everything else yeah I wanted to kind of ask talk to you guys about <laughs> gas prices fuel prices they jumped here last week, last week, up to 4.29 here in Oklahoma. I know some of you guys are in California and some other places where it's a lot higher than that, and you'd be very happy with 4.29. Then there's one station that was 4.19, and then uh, today I saw one that was 4.09 down in Chickasha. This looks like it's all copper on this wire here that goes around the Statter. I got a whole bunch of them up there I need to clean up one of these days. But uh, they're not really out of sight, but they're kind of out of the way and never really pay much mind to that up there. But the main copper we're kind of after is right here in this yoke. So, we've got circuit board here, low grade, maybe mid grade, I don't know. I'm not really much on circuit boards. Not my specialty for sure. Oh, well, Roger, see you scrapping. I bet he knows. He does a lot of that. A lot of times, the street scrappers they'll just cut the cord on something like this and go because that way they, you know, they get you got the plastic monitor there or plastic case. You got glass, and I think there's lead in this glass, so. It's uh, not that easily disposed of. And then usually this piece right here is braided copper. It's been tinned, that's why it's kind of silvery. Scrappers don't like messing with these because there's really there's more trash than there is good stuff in them. But then other scrappers they enjoy doing these. I haven't done one for quite a while. I don't get too many of these anymore. I 
And it used to be everybody had TV sets they were getting rid of when they when they went from analog to digital. A lot of times you can pull straight up on those and they come loose, other times they don't. I'll probably have to cut a bunch of cords here before it's going to do anything. Hope everybody's doing great out there scrapping and Some nice weather today. It's about 85. Yeah, this thing just doesn't really want to come out. The circuit board. There it's coming. I'm not sure we're holding it just. been out in the shop much here the, since Wednesday. I've been running doctor appointments and dentist appointments with his wife. And, well, I had that eye doctor appointment. He said, really, really not any change in my eyes, so about the same prescription. And then they dilate my eyes, everything's blurry, and say, would you like to look at glass, glasses? I say, yeah. My eyes dilated. I don't think I could see them. Couldn't, you know, couldn't re probably read the price tag on them. So, nah. But if there's really no change in my eyes, and I don't really need them, then there's really not much point going going ahead and buying a pair. Which I get them a cost there at the Indian Clinic. This pair was like, the pair that I've got on there were like $170. I got them transition lenses and I didn't get the scratch proof stuff. I probably should have. Doing what we do, scratch proof wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Okay, you got some decent wire right here and ferrite rods, or ferrite piece. I gotta go ahead and get all these wires off of here and then set it aside. I've got about 355 gallon barrels out there that I got a bunch of circuit boards in. Exactly that right there. I guess I don't really have that one marked us for any designated purpose. One bucket there on the bucket shelf's got about half full of these yokes. Need to take a day, clean them up. Out there trying to get that old 10 horse Johnson to fire over this morning until the pull, pull rope broke. Oh, great. But uh, I think I'm going to have to go in and clean the car, pull the carburetor and clean it. Looking at another little, just 3.9 horsepower Mercury. The guy wants a hundred dollars for it. Of course, about 96 miles away, it's an hour and a half drive. But uh, I might message him. It's on on Marketplace, so a lot of you guys know how that goes.
said it might need a set of points. Well, a lot of you guys are about my age, so you remember a lot of the old cars, pre-70s had points condenser you had to change every six months or once a year to do a, what they call a tune-up. It was funny because when they went to the electronic ignition, they still called it a tune-up, but it didn't consist of <laughs> much of anything because everything was in that electronic ignition. These here ones just slide off, so there we go. Okay, I got a couple of wires left on here. A lot of this is really small wires. I got a bucket here on the bucket shelf that I'm putting like a real small wire in. And you take it out and dump it here soon, it's getting pretty full. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, these gas prices are going to kind of hurt a lot of scrappers. Unless prices come back up, and then that could happen. But uh, I'm not holding my breath. Okay, I'll take that outside here in a little bit, out to the barrel. Now. couple zip ties. It looks like zip ties just inside of this thing. Kind of soldered shut. There we go, it unplugged. Yeah, there's a zip tie right there hold, kind of holding it. Yeah, that's got a little circuit board in there, so tear into it. Couple chips on there. I guess this little piece here is kind of like a heat sink. It's got two little screws. Right there, kind of holding it. Let's see if I can get a hold of that with a pair of pliers. So it's got soldered here and there, so if I have to hit that with a grinder. So I'll set it on the other workbench and I'll get it off camera. Yeah, I might go in and message that guy here shortly and see if I get a reply. Try to run out there today or tomorrow and get that motor. I got that six horse in here I need to work on. It looks like it needs a stop button and needs a whole assembly because I noticed it's not even on there. Okay, now we got a little metal clamp here and we got another one down here. And on these, I like to get them totally separated. See that magnet pick that one up. Okay, it's kind of sticking to that one a little bit. Because it'll kind of pull this end up. So there might be a little bit of there's metal in that. Let's 
sometimes they're stainless and sometimes they just barely move like there's just a small amount it seems like it's just the one side that that bolt threads into so but if it doesn't move at all then I'll go ahead and And it's probably stainless steel. And I'll keep it. You got one more little ring here. I'm just gonna cut it. And that twists off. And then we got that monitor completely done. I should have saved the screws to put put the cover back on. And that's about all there is to turn one of these down. Of course on here you got a couple clips. One's back in here behind this, but you got copper all over the place. So you just kind of take it take your time and get all the copper out of it. So that's about, about it on these. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, remember to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.